Here's another video with Mr. Long and we're looking at spreadsheets, particularly in Microsoft Excel. And we're going to look in today's lesson about how do we lock and hide cells and what does that actually mean? So let's go look at this by using an example. So here I've got a lovely little spreadsheet that's like a flag a quiz. And the idea behind it is that you see the flags and in these gray blocks you type in the answer. So I know that is the South African flag, so I type South Africa. And when I click on that and I type it in, it tells me that it's correct. And that's great. And this one I think is the Denmark flag. There we go, I'm getting them right. And that's the Indian one. So there we go, I'm getting all this right. And there's a formula that's running that's telling me how many I've got correct. And there's a whole bunch of flags and that's great. Now, the problem here is if I click on the correct option over here, if I just click there, I can actually see what the answer is. So there's a formula there saying if it's, that it's supposed to be South Africa. So I can actually cheat if I wanted to. And I can go to the next flag. If you don't know what that flag is, you can just click over here and you can see, oh, well, it's New Zealand. So we can just type that in. So that's the one problem I've got is that I can see the formulas. Um, the second problem is I could technically change the formulas. I can just, if I wanted to, I could actually just go and say, like this one, I can actually just type in the formula, I can type in the word correct, and it will score me a point, irrespective of that I've just changed it. I'm going to undo it because I want to get back to my original. But so I don't want to be able to change the formulas. I don't want to be able to see the formulas as well. If I was using this as a spreadsheet, or if I'm giving this to students, for example, I don't want them to be able to change or see those formulas. So how can I hide and lock those particular cells? So what you do, so the, the cell that we're looking particularly at is this one over here. So when I right click on it, you can go to the options where we can go to format cells. We want to change the format of the cells. And you've probably seen this before where we change, for example, the font or you change the, the type that is in the cell or the alignment. And so there you can see, you can see, okay, it comes up the number, the alignment, the font, the border, the fill. I'm going to come to the protection. That's the new part here. So as you can see, by default, the cell is already locked. Okay, but what does that mean? Well, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Because locked means that if you lock the cell, that means you can't change it, but I could change it. So why is that happening? Well, the thing is, this is protection. This protection will only happen if we protect the worksheet. Okay, so at the moment, that cell, all the cells by default are locked. In other words, you can't actually change them. So if I come over here to, if I go look to review, you see you can protect the sheet. So I'm going to protect it. And put in a, for, uh, a password. I'm just going to put in some random password. And then we're going to repeat it. So that we know that we've put it in. And it's hopefully the passwords match. And now it is locked. All those cells by default are locked. So if I click here, you can still see the formula. But because they're locked, if I type here, it won't actually let me type. Because that cell's locked. And this is a problem because now, even in the little places where I want to type in the actual answer, that's also locked because all the cells are locked by default. So let's go undo what we did. I'm going to unprotect the sheet, type in my password that I just used so that I can unlock it. So now it's unlocked. So now we can go change it. Now, the first thing I want to do is the cells that I want the user to type in. I'm going to press control and select all of them. I want the user to be able to type in those cells. I'm going to actually go and say, hey, those cells, if I format them, I don't want them to be locked, please. I want them to be unlocked because I want, when I secure the spreadsheet, when I protect it, I want the user to be able to change those particular cells. Okay, so that's the one little trick with locking. The problem here is this, I can still see the formula. So the, the only formulas I really want to see, there's a formula there, there's a formula here. So what I can do, I'm going to press control and select all the blocks that have formulas. Do you see I'm selecting all the blocks. There's a block underneath here. All of these blocks, they are all selected now. So now I'm going to right click, format the cells, and I'm going to make sure that these cells are also hidden. In other words, the formula will stay there. But when I protect it, you won't be able to see the formula. Okay, so we basically we unlocked all of these. So let's just take these answers away. I've unlocked them and I've hid, hid all these areas. Yeah, they've already were locked because every cell is locked by default. So we unlock the ones where we want people to type in and we hide the places where there are formulas. Now at the moment you can see the formulas. 
but we're going to go over here to protect sheet type in a password again um, type it in just to make sure that we've got the right one we're going to lock it boom and now if i click anywhere on this on, on the spreadsheet if i type it will not allow me to type but if i click over here because we unlocked these i can type in the cell and it'll be okay and there's a formula so let's go click on it can you see the formula no we can't we can't change anything but we can't even see the formula because that formula is now hidden okay so that's what you need to do so with it so let's unprotect it again and we're going to put our password in so the key there is when you right click on a particular cell you go to format cells and you go to protection so locked means that you can't actually type in that block so if you want people to type in the block you must unlock it because by default everything is locked and if you want to make sure that people can't see the formula then you must select the hidden option and then once you've done those to the right cells you can come here to protect sheet and that's basically you see select locked cells select unlocked cells so there is what they're basically asking us to do when we do the protection so those are options so you just type in your password boom, 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 boom. type it in again and make sure that you remember your password and now you have a spreadsheet where you've limited what people can type in or where they can type in and you've also limited they can't see the formulas they are hidden and that's how you hide and lock cells and formulas for all our other videos on excel go to our youtube channel click on that subscribe button click a like give us some comments go to our playlist there's where you'll find everything and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way